Good morning and welcome back to another video. It's a wonderful day and today it's not that windy. So as you can see, we brought our little chicks outside because the sun is very nice and warm. I'm gonna have to take my jacket off. But this one is the one that listens to me so it wouldn't run away. But I'm gonna put it inside because it's kind of like stressing out about the other ones. But uh, yeah, in this video, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's a wonderful day. We do wanna do the fence for the secret garden. We have collected some wood from last year. So I wanna finish that up. And uh, I do need to clean the raspberries. I thought I had more time, but um, I do have to clean them and uh, yeah, see what else we're gonna do. So I threw them some uh, gravel, some sand with some little stones, because they need to eat some small stones for their gut, for their, I think for their belly overall. Yeah, they're like picking on it. Plus, uh, they wanted to mud bath, so mud bath we're calling it, but it's more like sand bath. So they just wanna bath, maybe bring them a bit more. And uh, yeah, because they were like scooping themselves on the grass. So I think they're gonna like this one. I know you can also do like dust together with some other things. Not dust, um, ash. ash. I know you can also do ash with some other things. We need to do that for the big chickens, but they have a lot of places they're going to. So yeah, but they really like the little Sonys. I might bring them another one because that was not really a lot. <laughs> Before I go outside and get started with work, I want to eat something. As I said in my past vlog, I ran out of mayo. So I'm going to make a new one and I decided to show you how I make it in case you're interested. Three years now that we're living here, I haven't bought mayo a single time because I'm making my own because we have eggs. So all you need is an egg, some oil, salt, pepper, synapse and anything else herbs wise you want. So I'm going to make it straight away in the tray that I'm going to use it in so I don't need to transfer it over. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna show you a close-up of everything. It's very easy, very simple. So yeah, let's get started, make some mayo, eat and then go outside for work. five minutes it took me a bit longer because I had to film it but they turned yellow because I added turmeric or curcuma and I also added some spices usually you just add salt pepper vinegar and uh, oil and some um, mustard so yeah I just added a bit extra things just added a bit on the flavor and uh, yeah close it and put it in the fridge but uh, yeah I really like doing it myself so now let's eat and go outside so here I am at our raspberry patch and <laughs> Yeah, Peo Peo. Good job, Peo Peo. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, clear it up, cut the ones from last year, and um, yeah, this is the before jungle, and uh, we're gonna see you after once it's all cleaned up. the raspberry patch it didn't take that long it's just a bit of a annoying job because you're down there and then you need to lift them up and then you need to go away and it's a bit of a jungle because they like to go in the jungle so you cannot make them really beautiful plus the grass has been growing that we cannot cut because they like to be as a big jungle bush 
but we have finished we still have to clean up the back thorn back there and another raspberry patch tiny one there plus cut another one up there so we still have to do some work but before we do all of that we want to put up the grill because it's a beautiful weather so we want to get the grill going so it can heat up while we work so yeah let's go to the grill and then come back here So if you remember, we cut most of the buckthorns already, not most of them, but the ones were bothering us. But this one's really in the way. We thought to leave it, but it's gonna bother most of the raspberries. And there's three more growing behind this one. We have one more there. It's more than a buckthorns. So let's get started and cut it down. Yep. It's so easy to see that you're in love with me. Carve your name next to mine on that big old tree It's how you want it to be You bring me things from the store And put it at my front door I've lost count of the times this have happened before Not that I'm keeping score Cause I do the same for you Just like I'm supposed to do I'm yours You're mine If you ever feeling blue Rest assured I've been there too We just pick up where we left off Then we tow the line That's fine Here we want to cut down raspberries These are older raspberries uh, Pretty much they barely give any raspberries and they don't look the best. As you can see, it just looks like a jungly mess. I'm gonna try to leave some just for tea leaves. So raspberry tea leaves are really good. And, but otherwise there's not much berries here and it just creates this jungle where you can't cut grass. I will leave some in a section so I can like just cut around them and then there's no itchy plants. Uh, Cause currently it's just a itchy heaven. So yeah, let's get started and cut it all down. <laughs> all the work upstairs and the fire is ready and as you saw we already put sausages on and this is the first grilling of the year we, we did smoking with our smoker but the weather was not so good but now it's very nice the sun is slowly setting so it's coming to us again it was actually shadow shadow when we started but uh, yeah we're gonna eat and then we have one more job we want to do we want to do the fence as i said so yeah <laughs> We have been spotted. I have a, I have some food for them in the hallway. I go get one. Ow! <laughs> yeah. So we're nearly done eating, and our whole crew has arrived. We have Keita here under the table making sure that in case something falls she will get it first. Then we have Pitts over there, I don't know if you can see him. Then we have all the chickens, some of them are mud bathing, dust bathing, some of them are running around. A rooster is screaming, Bilbo has arrived, so we have the full crew. And David said if we bring out to the goats it's gonna be like a fairy tale here. But it's not gonna feel like a fairy tale because everyone's gonna attack our food. Like they're already trying here and there. But uh, yeah, it's very nice to have all the animals around. They actually have a lot of respect. 
and the chicken only jumped once the white one and never again she's just like patrolling around the table and uh, yeah very good animals we have raised <laughs> she's, she's falling dying. asleep yeah we have raised very good animals I didn't actually believe that the small, small pile that was looking there was actually covered in grass that could do so much. We're actually thinking that it's gonna only do halfway or that we need to take the sticks from the other side that we have put for the other piece of the fence. But um, yeah, I'm very surprised that it's so much. It does not maybe look the best because the sticks are pretty skinny compared to that side. They're much fatter and also they're weathered compared to this one, they're still, you know. And the goats got actually pretty lazy at the end, midsummer. They didn't want to eat them anymore, they wanted grass, so yeah, they didn't clean them the best. And as you might notice, it is not the same day as we started it, because we got carried away with other things. And I think that day, I don't remember what we continued doing, I think David kept working on some things. And uh, we might have had babies, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, we have the current day that you're watching the video. And if you haven't watched my short that I posted over my birthday, my mom has arrived she surprised me for my birthday well she wanted to surprise me but kind of david and myself we ruined it but i was happy that i knew that she's coming because i prepared myself no, not prepared but i was excited she does, she does, she does, she does. i was excited for a longer time but um yeah my mom didn't know that i know so kind of a surprise <laughs> that i know all right complicated but um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video kind of like a gardening vlog i don't remember what we did again i want to take the opportunity to say thank you to all of you and uh, hello <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Whatever. yeah actually she has been here for a week already but uh, yeah we have been doing work and we have been very very behind on our videos so yeah we're gonna start to be posting 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 but we just don't have the time to edit and work a and lot the days of stuff, yeah. The days are getting so long, like now we have 8.30 and the sun is still shining, so we kind of need to edit in the morning. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and we're going to see you next time. <laughs>